What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys a free alternative to Photoshop on Linux. So if you're looking at getting into photo editing and you don't have the capital to spend money on Photoshop, I know like now it's subscription based, but um, if you don't have that money, that extra money, well, there is a free alternative. It's actually called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and it basically stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. Uh, that's where the name comes from. So uh, this is basically, it's, it's not Photoshop, but it does have a lot of the same features that Photoshop has. And the good thing about it is free. Uh, and I wanted to go through and show you guys how to install the application and get it up and running on your Linux machine and uh, start editing some photos. Now, just to let you guys know, I'm not an expert on image editing, uh, so I'm not too great at it, uh, showing you everything. But I will show you guys a place where you can get a lot of information on uh on doing things in GIMP because like I said it's a lot different from Photoshop so uh, as the way you actually use the application uh, but it does some of the same things it's just uh, under different locations it's not going to be exactly the same if you're used to using Photoshop but this is the next best thing to Photoshop that you can get for free so anyway let's get started so the first thing I want to show you guys is their website. This is the actual website for GIMP. Uh, if you have Windows or Mac OS, you can just uh, click the download uh, version and then click on whichever OS you have. But since we're going to show you on Arch, it's a simple command because it's in the repositories for uh, Orch, as well as uh, Ubuntu is pretty much in all the repositories as long as you have a desktop environment uh, you can run this application uh, well download it from the official repositories and um, install it on your your distribution so just to read a little bit about it uh, the free and open source image editor this is the official website for the GNU image manipulation program GIMP GIMP is cross-platform, like I stated. Uh, image editor available on GNU, Linux, uh, Mac OS X, and Windows, and more operating systems. It is a free, it is free software, and you can change the source code and distribute your changes. Uh, whether you are a graphics designer, photographer, illustrator, or a scientist, GIMP provides you with sophisticated tools to get the job done. Uh, you can either enhance your productivity with GIMP thanks to many customization options and third party uh, plugins. So there you have it. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of it. And then also this is another uh, good source to get some information from uh, on GIMP as well as uh, some of those add-ons that they were talking about uh, here, third party plugins. Well, you can download a lot of them from GIMP, GIMPHelp.org. This is a website where you can get a lot of scripts um, and how-tos, uh, brushes, um, and just some help. Uh, any type of help you can think of, they have it on, on GIMPHelp.org. So let's get started on, on showing you guys how to install it. All right, guys, I'm on my main desktop. And uh, I just want to show you guys, this is an Orch based uh, distribution. Actually, let's uh, run uh, NeoFetch so you guys can see what I got. Um, let's see what this is. As you see, it's Orch. Um, and it's just some of the information on what I got. Uh, so let's clear this. And the way you install GIMP simply on Orch is sudo pacman dash s um, and then gimp and press enter I'm not gonna do it well actually I'll just do it um, 
but I already have it installed on my system. So this is just reinstalling it, but you go through and it'll it'll say it's installing it or whatever on your system. Right now it's just reinstalling it for me, which is fine. Uh, and on Ubuntu systems is sudo uh, apps install uh, GIMP. Uh, sudo uh, on Ubuntu uh, slash Debian uh, distribution. So uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go down and open up the application and so I can show you a few things. So. Okay, so this is the way GIMP looks. Um, in the past, it used to look a little confusing uh, because uh, parts of it was actually in like separate windows. Like this, this would be in its own window, then the image area would be in its own window in the middle, and then this would be in its own window. So they combined it all, which makes it a whole lot better. And it also helps people coming over from uh, Photoshop. Cause when I remember when I first opened up GIMP, it was very confusing because of the way those different windows were set up. I was like, "What the? What is going on here?" So, just starting out, I just want to give you a, a little mapping of uh, the actual application. So, these are pretty much all your tools, uh, and some of them may look familiar. I know the um, icons are different, but they look familiar uh, to Photoshop. So, if you're coming over from Photoshop, this will some of it will look familiar, but some of it won't. Well, I mean, as you can tell, this is your selection tool, your normal square rectangular selection tool. This is uh, your circular one. Uh, and excuse me if I'm not using the right terms uh, here. Like I said, I'm not a photo editor, but I just, um, I'm just showing you guys a brief overview for people that are just starting using this program. Um, and I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna just show you the ones I normally use. For instance, uh, I use the picker uh, a lot, the color picker. So if I'm trying to pick up a, a different color off of an image or something, and I wanna put it in, in the background using like a paint bucket or something like that, then then uh, I will use the picker. Um, uh, that's your standard zoom tool and then the measuring tool and this is the move tool uh, this is the alignment tool which is a uh, pretty good uh, cropping tool right here uh, and they got a couple different ways of transforming rotate uh, and scaling um, and like I said I'm just going through the ones I normally use this is a text tool, uh, text tool. Uh, you say you write text onto the image uh, your bucket tool so you can fill in with different colors uh and all that good stuff so if we get down here if you see when you click on a different tool this right here will change this is all our options for those specific tools so when you go through and click on them it'll change to, so you you have a bunch of options you can go in and uh and work with for uh the different tools and just show you a few things right here and um right here is my undo history so whenever I start a project, um, your undo history is real beneficial to, to uh, look at. So so you can go back and um, if you have if you mess up something, you can go back to a specific area. You can look at your history, or you can just press Control Z, which will take you back. That'll do the undo for you. Okay, so let me create a new project so you guys can see. So up here is templates they have some templates built in but you can you can set your image size on your own you can go through and set it however you want to they got portrait mode um, and uh, landscape mode and then they have some advanced options down here if you want to uh, modify some of this um, but uh, I normally use the standard 1920 by 1080p uh, well 1080 um, I try to make my thumbnails in that size. I don't know if that's correct, if that's the correct size or not, but uh, that's the way I make it. I just make it the same um, dimensions that I record in. So whatever. Um, 
but anyway so as you can see when you create your first uh or when you create your new document it starts off with one level or one layer uh and then you can put you know new layers on top of it or below it or you can open up other uh images and it'll pop up in here uh as a layer a floating layer and then you can um you know make it a layer at that point so um so that's pretty much all i want to show you on that side on that side but uh when you get into uh actually drawing stuff uh this right here is uh your brushes so you can go through and change your brushes and make a bigger smaller as well as you know all the stuff uh like if you're your um uh, where's the the blur tool like if you're blurring something you can change the brushes to different sizes and all that stuff and you can different patterns so if you want to put you know a different pattern on something you can do that by changing the brushes you know put stars everywhere <laughs> you know all kind of little stuff so so if you're an artist you can go through and try to figure some of this stuff out and, and um mess around with the brushes here but i normally just use the standard brush uh whenever i'm doing something uh which is cool and then let's see i'm gonna just create a layer just to show you guys something uh so let's say we want to i'm gonna do the bucket bucket tool as you can see you select the area and um you know fill in just that area with the selection tool you know i mean it's it's a lot of stuff you could do it's just similar to photoshop so i mean if you understand photoshop then you 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 get it you know what i'm saying so um and actually i should have created another layer um when i did that but whatever um and actually we can undo that and let's create the new layer boom and actually let's click off that selection create another selection um, on the right layer and then fill that one in bam and so we got that we got our layer on top and just show you a few things you just want to make sure you select the, the actual layer to move it around and then also this right here will allow you to move your layers uh, like move what layer like which layer is on top so if you go down a layer then that's obviously behind it and uh, let's go up here and I'm going to just show you um, you can drop opacity down and you can see that the black is back there but but that's the way it works or whatever so like i said i'm not gonna go too deep in the weeds on this uh it's a brief overview there's a lot of other people out there that that have done uh deeper videos on gimp than i i'm doing um so you might want to check those guys out my video is just to introduce you guys to gimp let you guys know that it's out there it's available it's free you don't have to pay for this tool and it's like i said it's on the on the level of photoshop so um if you guys are interested at, um just go on and pick it up install it um download it um onto your windows computer it, uh, it works the same on, on all of them all these tools they all look the same or whatever whether it's windows mac or linux so so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and keep it techie